Hey, what's happening guys and welcome to the first ever video recorded for the HitLab Academy on YouTube. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about replacing your snare drum sound using Logic Pro X's new sampler. Let's get into it. Why would you want to replace a beautifully recorded snare drum in the first place? You ask. Well, let me explain. We have become so used to listening to 808 kicks and 808 snares that our ears have naturally sort of evolved to wanting to hear that on radio, on Spotify, on Apple Music. We are so used to hearing those things and those tracks. And if you look at your top 10 tracks on all the charts, it's predominantly 808 stuff with the odd live drum kit recording in there somewhere. And usually with these live dr drum kit songs, they will have replaced the kick and the snare just a little bit to enhance the sound of the drum kit. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Let's get into a project and see what we're working with. In this project right here, I've got just a drum kit that has been sent to a bus. It's a drum kit that's been recorded. I've got all the mics on it. I've got a stereo overhead set of mics going on there and a stereo set of rooms, but we are just gonna be focusing on the snare top for today. So let's have a quick listen to what this drum kit sounds like as it is right now. Now, that drum kit's been recorded really beautifully, but the snare sounds so live, it sounds so real, and all I wanna do is bring it into 2020 by enhancing it a little bit with some kind of a sample. In this case, I'm looking for a slightly more pingy sample that is just gonna consistently work on those twos and fours all the way and make my snare drum sound a little bit more pingy. One of the ways to do that in Logic Pro X is you wanna select the track that you wanna replace. So right here, we've got a snare top, which sounds like this. There's a lot of bleed coming from the other, other uh, parts of the drum kit on this. So the beauty of replacing the snare drum is that we'll have a nicely isolated sampled snare sound that we can work with. And that will allow us to use the live snare with slightly less amount of compression so that we don't get all those other sounds coming up in between the twos and fours where the snare is actually hitting. What you wanna do to basically replace the snare drum is you wanna head on over to track up there and select replace or double drum track. Another way to do this is to basically just use the shortcut control D on Mac. I'm not too sure what the Windows shortcut is, but that is the, the Mac shortcut. I'm not actually even sure if Logic works with Windows. But anyway, now we've got the, the Logic replacement tool here that we've opened up, and we've got various options here. At the top here, we've got instrument, where we can select basically which um, note you want the MIDI note to go onto your piano roll. So in this case, we are gonna select, select snare, and that will generally match it up with the where the snare lies on the piano roll with the sampler plugin. The next thing is the mode. You can either select replacement, which will basically just mute your original snare and replace it with your new sample, or you can select doubling, which is my preferred option because then we don't actually lose the original recorded snare because we wanna keep that snare. That's where the feel is at. Right, so we're gonna select doubling. We don't wanna replace, we just wanna add. The next thing you wanna look at over here is the relative threshold. This is basically just a knob that allows you to select the threshold that you want to sample. In this case, I just want my attacks, the twos and the fours on this snare drum. So if I move my relative threshold around, you can see if I move it all the way to the left at minus 40 dB, it basically picks up every sound that came through that microphone. But around about minus 19.5 is a good place because that's giving me just my twos and my fours and the accented hits on the snare drum itself. There won't be any hi hat bleed coming through there. There won't be any kick bleed or any other cymbal bleed whatsoever. You can choose to preview that if you want. And that sounds really nice. I'm not quite happy with the sound of the snare, but we'll get to that in a second. So then all you got to do is hit OK. Now you have your sampled snare drum. 
One thing you can do, which I really like to do, because once again, I use sample snares just to enhance the original snare drum, not to replace it. I like to double click, select all those MIDI notes, head on over to function, go to MIDI transform, select fixed velocity, put that to 120 over there and select operate only, boom. And now what that has done is it has given me a consistent velocity across all the sampled snare drums that I've sampled. If I play that together with my snare drum, you can hear it is a lot more aggressive, but also a lot more consistent. Now, the last thing you need to know about this plugin for now is you wanna go and select the sampler plugin over here. And an easy way for you to just flick through all your samples, all your samples will be loaded in this drums and percussion section over there. You head on to single drums, snares, acoustic snares, and there's all the logic preset samples. We are gonna head over to the first sample in snares, and that will be snare D1. And I'm gonna play the track, and I'm basically just gonna use that little arrow over there to cycle through all the various snares and find the perfect one for this song. Let's have a listen. I really enjoy that pingy sounding snare for this song. I think it is great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the whole drum kit and have a listen to the whole drum kit with that sample snare. And while I'm playing it back, I'm gonna mute the sample snare and then unmute it, then mute it, then unmute it so that you guys can have a listen to the difference. Let's have a listen to that. And there we have it folks, as easy as that, you can replace your snare drum sound using Logic Pro X's sampler. It has a whole host of beautiful snare drum sounds in it, so I just generally tend to stick to the original samples that Logic have loaded, but you can also add many more samples and use the samples of your choice to get the sound you enjoy. That's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for sticking around and enjoying this lesson with me. If you enjoyed the lesson, please like the video. Please go and subscribe to the HitLab Academy's YouTube channel. And most importantly, leave us a comment below. And if you wanna know more about this beautiful facility, the HitLab, please go and visit www.thehitlab.co.za. Until next time, peace.